In the first generation, it was a real frame SUV with the rear axle and the correct all-wheel drive transmission. The second generation of the model is a typical crossover with a monocoque body and independent suspensions. It has become more versatile and much more reliable. The first generation Sportage has been in production since 1993. It was a frame SUV with a part-time transmission. The third generation of the crossover appeared in 2010. Its design has become more expressive and aggressive. Restyling primarily affected the appearance of the crossover. The car has become more mature due to modified headlights and a false radiator grille, as well as a different bumper with fog lights. Behind, other stern lights and the configuration of the fifth door. The engines are the same, as are the gearboxes and transmission. True, Koreans claim that motors have become more environmentally friendly. The transformation of SUVs into crossovers is a modern trend. Marketers say that the demand for this type of machine continues to grow. This is understandable. It is profitable for manufacturers and customers like it. Outwardly, the car resembles an SUV, and on asphalt it behaves like a passenger car. Interior is comfortable and roomy. Such is the second-generation Kia Spoilage. Due to the optimal combination of price, quality, and reliability, the crossover quickly won the sympathy of Russian buyers. Both ours and yours the main market for Kia Sportage was American, but almost immediately after the European premiere, Russian dealers began to actively sell the car. When the model was three years old, its used copies began to be actively transported from America. True, this did not last long, until the end of 2008, until new customs duties were introduced. Our car was sold both with all-wheel drive and with front-wheel drive, and only as a five-door station wagon. There were no other body modifications. For the Sportage, two gasoline engines were provided, a 2.0-liter, 4, 142 horsepower, and a 2.7-liter V6, 175 horsepower, as well as a 2.0-liter 2.0-liter turbo diesel, 140 horsepower. Four-cylinder engines were combined with the five-speed mechanics. Since 2006, a mechanical six-speed gearbox has been installed on diesel cars, the V6 was aggregated only with the four-band automatic. Like most cars of this type, Kia Sportage has a fairly spacious interior, despite its modest dimensions, 432 centimeters in length. This is a considerable merit of a decent wheelbase, 263 centimeters, and a successful transformation of the interior. The trunk is small, but the rear seats fold down, significantly increasing its volume. The build quality and ergonomics are at a very decent level. On top of that, the Kia Sportage is very well equipped. All cars sold in Russia were equipped with ABS with an EBD brake force distribution system, front and side airbags, light alloy wheel rims, automatic climate control, electric windows, and heated side mirrors. In rich trim levels, you can additionally find a leather interior and stabilization system, ESP, and cruise control. If the first generation Kia Sportage was not very reliable, then the second one is in perfect order with this. Motors are unpretentious and durable. On the secondary, gasoline versions are more common. Most often, a 2-liter engine is found under the hood of a crossover. It can run on gasoline with an octane rating of 91 to 98, however, the fuel must be of high quality. Otherwise, the Lambda probes and mass air flow sensors fail. The V6 engine is considered more unpretentious compared to the 2-liter. The all-wheel drive transmission has a function of blocking the center electronically controlled clutch. Under normal conditions, all the torque is transmitted to the front wheels, and when they slip, up to 50% is transferred to the rear. Suspensions to the body are attached through subframes. There are no problems with the chassis, although the level of its wear directly depends on the operating conditions. The average service life of the elements of this unit is 70,000 kilometers. Not bad protected from corrosion but the paintwork, like most Koreans, is rather weak. After a couple of years, chips and scratches appear on the case. Engine The 2.0-liter engine is the most common. The timing belt is recommended to be updated every 60,000 kilometers. The motor calmly digests the 90-second gasoline, demanding on its quality. Transmission The electronically controlled clutch has a locking function, while the torque is distributed equally between the axles. After a speed increase of more than 40 km h the lock is disabled. Gearboxes The mechanical one is reliable, however, it does not differ in the clarity of fixation and gear selection. The automatic machine is quite durable and hassle-free, 
but its diagnostics before buying a used car is required. Suspension. Front suspension made according to the traditional scheme, McPherson strut. There are no weak points in the input, except that the stabilizer struts will be asked to be replaced by 40,000 to 50,000 kilometers of run. Rear suspension. Its elements are characterized by a fairly high wear resistance. Interventions in the chassis will be required after 100,000 kilometers of run.